Love, Hazy and Crown Sorcerers, welcome to your October. We're pretty much going into November, but we're still going to be in November one for you anyway. Reading for this current year, hi. Um, this is for Cancer in the sign of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your charts if this resonates with you. Cool. If not, you just boop your nose way goes and point on that. It should think. I've nothing to do with you, ain't nothing to do with business, not worried about it. No way, no how, no want it, unless you want to know. And you're going to be like a bitch like me. Pisces, <clears throat> are, you, are, are you losing your creativity? Are you, are, you, are you dragging? Do you feel empty? Do you feel like nothing's going to help you save you in all that regard? Or is it someone else around you who just feels hopeless in a situation? Uh, vibration and energy. You're the dragon that's going to devour somebody alive. Making them look sick. But it's like a balance of good and evil, too. Or just the dark and the light. But it's making somebody sick. Sick looking. <clears throat> it's kind of like someone who took too much power. Or someone's offering something that's just making them sick. This offer is just sickening. It's a combination, but it's like, for some reason, someone can't... There's balance, but... Situation. Page of Pentacles with some bondage, Lady Gaga looking bitch, right? I don't know why. I feel like she doesn't mind. It could be you could be dealing with an earth sign because you have a lot of pentacles. Well, you have like three, but still. Um, you might. Nice as girl soldiers. I really feel like this is more like for you than the person per se. But, um, it seems like they got a nasty attitude. They aren't adapt to, like, learning shit. But they wear that bondage so good. It's like an outfit, you know? It's like, I wear my, um, pro I wear my red flags and problems, like, it's in style. And it's just like, oh, okay, dude, but that, is that really helping you? I don't know. I guess maybe they're happy with it or something. No, you're happy with it. Uh, wants and wishes, past traumas and shit. Could be dealing with a page of fire. This this could definitely be some childhood shit, but I, I feel like this is more like recent past shit. But I feel like someone wants some to say some nasty shit or express something or do something nasty. Uh, like it's a shield almost for what's going on with them. Down below we have the nine of earth. And the bitch with three eyes and the lovers right here. This is the all school and challenge. <clears throat> I feel like you're in a love situation here, possibly with a Gemini, but someone isn't using their third eye correctly to understand it because they just don't want to be alone. Like, let this dude neck on them while there's venom going into their neck. Just because they don't want to be alone. Obstacles and challenges? Emperor. Could be Aries or Leo. Um, this person, they think they can get one up on the devil. Um, like, the devil isn't going to come back on that shit. Like, they're too arrogant or whatever, and they're looking like Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. You make me, you make me, you make me, I'm on tonight, cause my hips don't lie. You know, arrogance. How this just starts out and nine of pentacles reverse, and it could be you, Pisces and Cross Watcher, who is in that uh, really, really bad. I'm gonna fuck your kids up just to watch you cry about it. You're like um, fucking Jax from Wet Work, and who goes and like. Gets her son to kill, like, another prisoner's daughter. Because you're that fucking annoyed or angry or in your emotions that bad. You're not offering something. You're doing something out of, like, your emotional space where you're very spiteful. You're not very open to loving. You're not very caref being careful. You might even be being vindictive about it, too. So, let's go on and see what this says. I'm on tonight because my hips don't mind. I'm starting to feel like... Ugh. Arrogance. Someone's trying to make themselves look good. 
Someone thinks they can be arrogant enough to look bad. I don't like that. Either be they. Uh, yeah. Someone's refusing to see. Is there? Like, okay. Pisces and Cross Watchers, Cancer and Scorpio both had this card, but it was upright, meaning that the, whoever they're dealing with, or it could have been both parties, it really doesn't matter, but there's going to be understanding by, like, the next eclipse we have. Whoever you're dealing with, Pisces and Cross Watchers, it's just it's not you. Um, they still don't see how they fuck themselves over and put themselves in a pretty deep trap, one of which they're not even sure they can get out. So, this Ace of Pentacles or this Dragon is very um, overwhelming to overpower a person, and this like duality right here is going to be like six of air, which I think is balance, but it looks like someone's getting sick from this balance. You know? They need to come out of whatever and understand shit, or maybe they're just not trying to understand it completely because there's something's not clicking. Something's not clicking. Something's not clicking. That's why this person's getting sick. Like, they don't, they don't understand what the fuck's going on. Uh, particularly like their foundation is faulty or they don't they just don't feel secure with the foundation that they have no matter how nice they are or how much they put on into it or whatever they think that adding a fifth pentacle will do something but that's just gonna actually that'll make the three of pentacles reverse so it still wouldn't work mm. Okay, Page of Pentacles reversed with this Lady Gaga bondage bitch. Like, someone being... They're not adept to learning. They are not good at doing things either. I mean, just, uh, they still... They, they, they wear their bondage like... They wear their bondage and their problems like clothes. But the problem is it's not... Uh, as attractive as one would make it, right? <clears throat> they do, they're doing that because they want to be have a safe, sound foundation in their home. But you got to think, like this pentacle right here, it's making them sick. It's an offer for a home, but it's making them sick. This pentacle isn't cool, man. Like you know, it, it, it won't fulfill any of the dreams. It'll make the dreams seem like you know they're not like applicable. And it's not starting, it keeps disasters going, like, you know, uh, this person isn't going to fix themselves, Pisces and Crosswatchers. I don't know if this is you, it could be you, it could be a mix of the both of you, which is why I said that earlier. Um, it could be both of you, but I really feel like someone is so wrapped up in, like, What's going on? I don't know. It's like someone... It's like a... Get you back. It's like somebody... Who, uh... Had so much shit happen to them... That it just keeps repeating at this point. But now it's like... Okay... Are you going to... S <sighs> you know, the problem with people talking about getting out of their comfort zones is that that's impossible. It's absolutely fucking impossible. You cannot get out of your comfort zone. Because no matter what situation you're in, you will always end up being comfortable, right? Um, the thing about comfort is that it's an illusion. You know, like, you can make yourself comfortable being homeless. You can make yourself comfortable being an alcoholic and being addicted to drugs. Like, anything, you can be comfortable with anything. Human beings are very adaptable creatures. Um, the thing is, though, what people rarely explain is that comfort is what makes us feel good, feel loved, and all that shit. Feel wanted, feel needed, and all that shit, right? So if you have someone who's constantly comfortable with being in, like, situations that, that add more and more onto their shit, right? Such as whoever the fuck this is, who just can't seem to get it. Um, I 
video. How do you convince somebody to stop being comfortable and be uncomfortable? Oh, well, that's good for your growth. Well, how do you know that? Because other human beings have told you that? Because you know it yourself? Do you really think it's, uh, that kind of solution is applicable to everybody? Or do you think that's just um, an anecdotal expression of what you've experienced in life and you're trying to project that into the rest of the world? You know, it's really easy to say to somebody, you need to get out of your comfort zone and shit, but you, you don't understand what makes you comfortable, that's not going to work. And in this situation, I feel like someone was made uncomfortable Because someone is comfortable getting uncomfortable or having calamity. That's a fucking word. Calamity. Who the fuck is. Someone is in here and they keep fucking with me. And it's really weird. But, uh. It's like, like calamity. Like, someone needs to calamity. And if someone's always used to an adventure, like, you know, like, that's like trying to settle down an adrenaline junkie. They're comfortable being in chaos. You know, like, you can't change the spots on a cheetah or whatever, the, or a leopard, or a leopard can't change his spots, or a cheetah, it's, a tiger can't change the stripes. It's very rare that people will leave what makes them comfortable. I mean, like, you got like, comfortable is supposed to make you feel good. Making yourself uncomfortable is a completely different situation because you can just make yourself more miserable by doing that. Like, why, why, like, why would you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to begin with? You know? That's what I wonder. Why would you put yourself in a situation like that? Just the grow? You know, because if I remember correctly, like, a lot of plants need the perfect environment in order to thrive. You know, you can't make plants uncomfortable unless they, unless you don't want them to grow. So, don't, like, don't at me, I'm just saying, you know, like, sometimes you don't need to be uncomfortable to grow, you just grow. There's no reason to put yourself out there more than what you already have. And, I mean, unless you're ready for it, that's up to you. If other people can't handle that, that's a, that's a, that's a on them, nothing on you. Um, you know, someone might feel like they're sticking around because they have nowhere else to go. Still hoping with these two cups. Um, they might have to let shit go where they felt abandoned as a child and they really didn't take any control of the situation. Uh, am I going to be taking a leap of faith but not really sure where it's going to take them? Hoping for balance because right now they don't feel like emotionally fulfilled and they just don't know where they're going just yet. You know, someone might actually see the light about this fucking relationship, realize that there's no love here. Um, because someone just turned her back like a smug bitch and just bit off more naked and true. Now Pisces, you might be sitting here waiting and hoping and wishing that like you can get out of the situation, but if you're just gonna sit here and listen to motherfuckers like they talk about the football game, they'll be surprised when they finally talk and then you run out of time before they come slip your throat, you know. Like there's gotta be work put in by both people, or else all you're going to do is see, like, your fucking dreams become a disaster. Wants and wishes. Hmm, sad. It's like, I, I took all this time and I'm just waiting for waiting, and I feel like I have to possibly dig up the stream. This person isn't sure if they should dig up the stream or not, but they're feeling sad about how it's grown and how it doesn't have very many pentacles on it. It's like they're tired of waiting for things to grow and work out. You know, because like, this shit isn't ending the way that it should have, I feel like. Now, Pisces, what the fuck does that mean? This is a crossroads where you're hanging on to something, hoping that it, it grows and you won't have to end that and it'll make you happy. Because I think that's what you're doing. You're not letting something end because it does bring you some virtue of happiness. You or your person, like this whole traumatic thing right here. Like, you are, if someone is either you or someone else. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's a person. 
And like I said, it feels like a mix of both of you. But like, it's like it's sitting there waiting for it to grow, but nothing's dying. It's still happy. <laughs> Don't want it to end because it does make you happy. It, it's almost like it gives you a sense of identity. You know. Uh, someone's really scared about going into this situation and actually delivering something, so they're just like, fuck this, I am going in the dark, I don't even want to deliver anything, this bitch is all like, whatever, someone lets their guard down about like a mistress, possibly you, Pisces and Can- Pisces and Cancer, well, it could be a Cancer too, could be you, could be somebody else. This means making decisions extremely fucking hard because it's like you know this person, but you might have to move on from them. But they might still keep communicating for, with you. But at the same time, it's like you guys are way too fucking different, and you're not sure if you should accept their offer or not because it seems like there's nothing. You're waiting for nothing. Ugh. Oh right, um, obstacle and challenge. Someone isn't using your intuition and sees it's probably you because this is your card. Um, we got the lovers and someone not wanting to be single, and they're not using their third eye to figure out. It's like, it's like, this is like a bitch who will stick their menstrual blood in your cup and then hand it to you to drink. It is, it's like, don't do that shit. Do not do that shit. Because I'll tell you something that I learned from, um, somebody who, uh, oh, well, I'm not going to go into the details of that, but, like, that, that, like I had an issue with somebody. when they came to this situation and the thing I learned about it is is like um when you do the menstrual thing when you use your blood to keep a fucking lover what they don't tell you is that you end up being just as bound to them as they are you and it can be nearly impossible to break because you've given a vital part of yourself like you know blood magic is one of the most powerful things you can use for spell and it gets charged every time you're around the person the problem is normally this kind of thing can happen by accident or it can happen on purpose but either way the more you go around the person the more it recharges the fucking spell because it works just like a sigil you mark the sigil and all you do is be around them, have them. The problem is that most people get tired of this person. Nine times out of ten, if when you do one on purpose, you're doing it with someone, you should just let go of. It's like an act of desperation just to keep somebody. You know. Like, let them the fuck go. Don't be trying to uh, keep them stuck on you. Because then that is poorly. Mm. Mm, that felt nice. I wish my shirt would say down some of my butt crack in this show. That'd be nice. Anyway, yeah, this is, this is, this is you. You could possibly be ignoring a certain aspect of your intuition. Um, regarding whether you're being fair or they're being fair. One of the two. Fairness is out the window and nothing makes sense. I was saying to somebody, or some, at some point, I can't remember what it was, but I was just like, if it makes sense during a time when it doesn't make sense, don't trust it. But I can't remember when I was saying that. You know. Someone needs the flee. Someone wants to escape. Somebody wants, someone's trying to escape whatever's going on with them. Or someone's trying, someone's ignoring their intuition about having to escape something that is really one-sided, unfair. Like, a person who's gonna save themselves, despite the fact that their intuition, like, or their intuition's fuck. It, it, it can either go either way. Either someone's ignoring their intuition, but they still understand that they need to go and they need to escape, or someone's ignoring their intuition about how things are appearing and might seem like everything is unfair, fairness is turned out the window, nobody cares about it, and that's what's causing this person to feel like they need to fucking find a way out before things get bad, it seems like. Um, you might be trying to free yourself from a bad situation, Pisces and Cross Watchers, where it's like, you're feeling inhibited or something isn't helping you clear your mind or your headspace or some shit, right? Fears and rejections. The Emperor reverse with Shakira, Shakira. All arrogant. I mean, they look seductive and wonderful and shit. Fear and rejection about this. 
This could be a person for sure. It could be a fire sign. Leo or Aries. I'm not. Yeah, def and Sagittarius because this is a fire sign card too. This is actually the seven. So this person thinks they're notorious because they're, you know, like, someone's not getting tempted with this no shoe having bitch. Um, I mean, I could, they could let their guard down, but I don't think that they are. Someone's refusing to take control. They just, it's like, uh-uh, no, no, you know, fuck this, just fuck it, just fuck this shit. That's literally what they're doing. I'm sorry, I was just using it as an example. I really didn't mean that shit, I promise. Like, someone's doing that. <clears throat> just, like, not taking control of something. Like, someone's not getting tempted. Like, someone's avoiding getting tempted by this person because they really don't have any true control, you know. Um, the person might end up feeling bad because this other person left, despite the fact knowing that there is, a um, no, 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 wait, this is not reversed, this is, well, that, no, it is reversed, it is reversed, it's not upgrade. This emperor person, they're sad because, you know, like, they want to stick around because they know that there's trash in the fucking sea. They can go anywhere, but they don't want to deal with garbage. I don't, I mean, like, not like I blame them, but still, it's like, what the fuck is the point? Like, you don't have any control? Do you think they think you're garbage, Pisces and Crosswatch? Interesting. Ugh. Somebody knows the truth. Okay, so if I just cross her, whoever this dude is, because it's on his side. Technically, I put him on the wrong side, because I pulled him up backwards. But whoever this dude is right here, he's got a bitch. You might be that bitch. You might be the third wheel in someone's partnership. And you don't want to feel like being, that you're a fool. You're tired of being made a fool of, which I don't blame you. But whoever this guy is, like, you know, the chick's just being like, ah! He's like, I love you too, baby. What the fuck about me? What am I doing with myself? You know? Like, sitting there like, what the fuck's going on here? This person could have, like, another person behind your back. If it's a man or just somebody who, um, is the more dominant partner, I reckon. I wouldn't say necessarily masculine, because I don't feel like, I, like, definitely should have been on that side, but you can come in. I'm almost done. Okay. Well, I'm halfway done. Actually, hold on. I'll see you here in a little bit. I'll check your tablet here in a few, okay? You don't have to. I only have two tests. I know, but I got I'm going to check it anyway because your mom knows. Okay. Okay. Sorry. How should it start to so end? You might not be offering anything in this situation anymore, uh, Pisces and Cross Watcher. It makes you bitter. It makes you mad. It makes you think you're wasting your fucking time. I think you're tired of being the other woman, honestly. Um, you got dreams, bitch. I want to fly away in front of a sunset. Yeah, dreams, and it seems like, mm, definitely could be, like, Aries energy. Like, I feel, like, I just feel like that insanity from a fucking Aries, right? Depending on what's in the chat, but it's just like, they turn their back, you're more involved in their own shit, they ain't even gonna engage, or you're not engaging. Got dreams about a motherfucker, and it's like, mm, You're tired of carrying the burden. You're almost there. You're almost done. It's like having a wish fulfillment. Some bitch is floating up, and then it's just like, ah, you know. Like, there might be heartbreak. There might be defeat, and there might be somebody escaping with some shit. But it's not like you're gonna be the one offering anything because you already see how things are. You're not willing to put up a fight because all it's gonna do is drain you more than anything and then you're just gonna have to face the show all over again it's gonna be just like your fucking childhood hmm. oh let's see anything you feel drained exhausted nothing's helping you out in this situation oh okay cycle complete
escaping some danger for some new person and you're running to a, a a newer this is almost like an invitation like someone is inviting you away from disaster I don't know if you're going to take it or not you're sitting on the beach with your cup like I got a turtle behind my back you want to see it <laughs> alright vibration and energy um hermit reavers four pentacles reavers and the page of pentacles to me. A total of three pentacles or for nothing will work. Somebody's looking inside themselves. I feel like you're not doing that very well, Pisces or Ross. I think. I think you're confused about your feelings and your actual feelings, honestly. If you want my opinion. Like you're conflicted emotionally. And you're still trying to put on a good face. Yeah. But someone comes up looking for secrets. Definitely could be you. That is your car, and you're probably just like, damn it, I just want an air. I just want to know what's going on. What's going on? Because you don't want me, like, strung around, and I don't blame you. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, you. Uh, some seeker comes out where there's, like, a hard lesson that was learned, and someone's got to learn it again. Is like the two people are fighting for somebody. Elaborate. Why is there so it is a third party? Okay. Okay, and the pentacles came up. Something's at work. What the fuck does that what does that mean? Eight of Pentacles, something's working. Like, I mean, I, I'm I'm just saying this is kinda like <clears throat> higher like three higher plane kind of shit. This is what I'm getting. It's like a higher thing. Because like you have the completion card, the world card, which is emptiness. It's like your cup's gotta get drained before you can start a new cycle. And Pisces, I'm telling you right now, if you are uh, the third wheel in a situation with somebody and you cause to bring them disaster that I, I can tell you right now you're coming in to be like hey I'm, I'm the third bitch I'm a baby mama that you don't even know I exist that shit's gonna work I feel like if you want to break those two up but I would also say that that's not the best idea because I don't think you like if, if you try to break at least if you try to break somebody like, if you try to come into the third wheel situation, and you're tired of feeling like a third wheel, and, you know, you just decide, you know, fuck it, I'm just gonna expose myself, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Most likely what's gonna happen is, if you're doing that, just to clear your conscience, that's gonna work. If you're doing it to break two people up, that's gonna work. However, I feel like if you, you break them up just to get the person who you've been messing with or some shit, like... Mmm, I don't feel good about that. I don't, I don't, I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I don't think that's a good idea. You can do that if you ask what you want to do, but, like, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's all just... Places and cross watchers. It'll work. It'll get you out the cold. would not do it though personally myself i mean you can do it to clear your conscience but i wouldn't do it just to like try to win somebody um who isn't yours you know you can't have what would never belong to you kind of shit you know all right the situation ace of pentacles ten of cups shine of side first ace of wands shine side first that offer here the offer with the dragon or whatever has great potential, but it's not going to bring the happiness or whatever it is you dreamed of, and it's not whatever doesn't start from it, it's just going to lead to disaster. It's like you had an expectation, but you never executed it. 
or there was something that was supposed to be executed that never happened, and because it never happened, that's when the disaster came in, you know, uh, but it was set up that way, yeah, it, it, all this was meant to happen this way, where someone's getting stabbed in the neck, someone attacks another person, there's communication where someone's attacking another person, you know, um, someone they're very strongly connected to, or like I said, like the third party could be coming in trying to do that shit between these two people. That way they can get out of the cold. But then they realize that, yeah, this is like my welcome, this is like my Scorpio season already. I still haven't posted that. I need to. But, um, this is pretty much almost the same thing, Pisces. It's like someone was, kind of, like the black magician, like that magician I used to always talk about, he's coming in trying to basically separate two people just because he wanted the one but he couldn't like, go after the one because like he used so much magic so he's going after the partner the problem is is that when the partners separate the one they want is not coming their way in fact the one they want takes off when they come like when the, like whoever this is who's gonna come in trying to Whoever is, um, the third party, if they come in trying to separate these two, they're going to be left on the beach while, they're, while the person they want goes away. Mm. So open invitation, though. That makes sense. Well, which, I think, <laughs> makes some sense. Why does nothing make any fucking sense? Whatever. Anyway, let's see. Oh, temptation. Someone gets tempted, possibly Capricorn. Someone gets tempted to start. And then, okay. Pisces and cross watchers, this is a lot like the welcome to Scorpio, like the Scorpio season reading I did. Very much so. Because, like, this third party, it's like they only they want to tempt the person into starting something with them because they think it's justified. It's, like, is this, is this a fucking ex? Are you dealing with an ex, or are you the ex who's doing this shit? Because someone's trying to come in and convince somebody to leave their partner, I think. Or is going to start some shit in order to get somebody to leave their partner. I don't know, but I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I do not support this shit at all. Wants and wishes. Seven of Pentacles, the Death Card, Reverse, and the Sun. Someone wanting crops to grow so it doesn't end so they can be happy. But, but the tree is like shitty, you know, like they want someone to let their guard down or something to sit there and talk to them about it. But a lot, leap of faith isn't being taken because the shit's supposed to be fucking dead. Yet, they keep trying to get someone to lower down their sword. Vice is a cross watcher, you're extremely pissed about this because there is love there, but someone is not delivering it. Is someone trying to pull shit from somebody? Like for energy or something? Uh, uh, it, 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 someone's trying. That was, that's, this is the counter where someone is trying to let shit go, but it keeps hitting them in the fucking face. It just splashes because it's upside down. Gravity don't work that way. No. Well, I don't know. Like, it's not like anything makes sense right now anyway, so it doesn't matter. But still, it's like. Hmm. Don't want to carry this burden anymore. Don't want to deal with this anymore. Pisces, I think you're done with it. You don't want to give to this shit anymore. Because it's like, you know, mm. obstacle and challenge. Ignoring the intuition about all this unfairness and shit and still feeling like you have to escape. Mm. Fuck it, I'll read more. <laughs> yeah, someone's self sabotaging definitely could be an earth sign. Capricorn Taurus for a go. Um, this person kind of self-sabotages. They rub pentacles on bison just to make them stink so you don't want the money. Um, 
they need to let some shit go, man. They need to let some shit go. Pay some, like, respect to your elders kind of shit. Unfortunately, they don't parlay, so they just cause more conflicts and everything like that. And end up basically just ruining a party and getting themselves killed just to knock some heads over, to start an argument so they know they aren't going to win. They just don't give a shit. Because they feel like they were fit. What? This is a cross watcher. Whoever this is, they're not. They're not. They're not gonna work anything out because they feel set up. They feel tricked. Someone's a liar here. A person walks away from somebody who really cares because they're a liar. That person has to deal with all that shit. They drop the problems or. And they, Yeah, someone ends up walking away and shit because of this. Like, it's somebody wondering, like, what the fuck did I do? You know? And it's the dude. It's the guy. The woman's still standing here. It's the dude who's walking away. You're, like, whoever the third party is facing the cross watchers, if it's you, I will be extremely disappointed in you. But like I was saying earlier with the Scorpio season reading, like, someone's trying to get the dude to walk away from this woman. That's the obstacle and challenge for whoever this is. And I don't like it. I don't like this person's intention. Because it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like a really bitter ass. Ugh. It drives that bitch crazy. It drives her fucking nuts. It puts her, possibly puts her on a murdering spree. That's actually kind of scary energy. Like, hell hath no fury like a woman's scorn. This dude could be walking away from his mistress, and he could be walking, but I'm pretty sure that this person is trying to um, make the dude walk away from the per from the woman because someone wants the woman. Like, I was saying that. Like, <laughs> I'll give you four. Um, it drove this woman crazy because, like, she didn't know any better, and now she's got to go deal with the cold on her own while everyone else watches like everybody's out in the cold but everyone's interested in her because she's the one who really didn't understand what the fuck was going on here like this woman had no idea so now it just feels like she's got to be by herself but lo and behold look at this bitch being like oh i'm gonna catch you here in a little bit just wait you know <clears throat> yeah. realizing they can't go the fuck back home this person just wants revenge. Straight up. This person wants revenge because, like, they aren't the main. Which is fucking crazy. Like, that's, that's, like this person just wants to come in and just start some ignorant shit. Because they ain't the main bitch. I don't like this person, like. Because like I was saying before, if you're clearing your conscience, it's one thing, but if you're just coming in to start some fucking trouble. You know, I mean, you'll get your wish, you'll get what you want, but that, at that point, like, you'll be completely depleted, and then you'll have to start a new cycle. You won't be able to continue with this shit. Whoever this person is I'm speaking to, if you're listening to this shit, I'm letting you know if you're coming in to start some fucking dumpster fire garbage stuff, like, it's gonna work. You're gonna be successful. The problem is, is like, once you're successful, you aren't going to be able to continue with this shit. And then you're going to have to move on to something new. And that's going to be really bothersome to you, for the most part. Because, like, I personally feel like this person, um... I just feel like this person just doesn't know how to be the fuck alone, honestly. You know, if you have to come in and, and, like, fuck with someone else's relationship, and not for the point of, like, making yourself feel better, you know, like, I, like, people would be like, oh, that's such a sad stuff, and she just want to, like, ask for forgiveness to be forgiven, so you don't have to feel bad anymore. Well, yeah, that's the entire fucking point, you know? Like, people don't want to feel guilty, they apologize. That's what they're supposed to fucking do. Like, that's what we were taught to do. No, for, like, genocide and shit like that, maybe saying I'm sorry doesn't do it, but for normal everyday things, you know, like, people could be forgiven for anything. 
and everything, and they should be, or at least give them a chance, but, you know, but this person here is, like, trying, it's almost like they're trying to use some steam, too. I just don't like how this person operates. Uh, fears of rejection. Yeah, they, they. This woman's trying to tempt this man. That's probably the mistress, right? Into this fucking cave. No shoe having bitch. Trying to get him into their clutches. Um, I feel like she doesn't have enough power. And that's what this person's afraid of. It's like you don't have enough power to pull this person back in. You don't have enough power. Not enough influence. Not enough ability to uh, draw this person back to you. And that's what this person's afraid of. But unfortunately, um, that's what's going to fucking happen. Um, that's what's happening now. It doesn't even matter. Like, I, I, like the, the bitch with the three eyes, I'm pretty sure that someone did that spell. One way or another. But unfortunately, like, it, it's, it's going too far. And, like, it, 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 like if, someone pull, if, if someone, a third party, went and, and, and pulled this shit on the person they want and that person that they want is in a relationship right? um that per that person is no longer um susceptible they're no longer under the spell um they're no longer operating under the spell like it, it's not working anymore that's why it's not pulling this person back you know um the person's no longer, you know, a spell only works for so long, you know, um, usually that's how it goes, but how it is, like, it's gonna wane in power, so the power has already, like, and it, it's almost like it went fast, but I don't see the eight of wands anywhere, and it's like, mm, that, I just want to know, uh, <laughs> but it's like, hmm, someone was very foolish, very foolish in thinking that a spell could keep somebody around and now they're shocked that it didn't work and it's just like i mean like why like why would you expect that spell to work when you're literally doing shit to um affect negatively affect the person you know they got their blood in you that means you're doing shit to yourself what do you think you're gonna do a part of you is going to protect yourself and the blood that you gave that person, well, that's probably enough to activate a defense mechanism in them to where, you know, they'll start rejecting everything you do for them. Think of it as, like, putting the negative, having two batteries and putting, like, a negative and a negative together or a positive and a positive together to always whatever. And that's basically what you're doing, you know? So, like, this person, they're trying to hang on tight to whatever it is they can, but that's right there being like, hey, it's time for Dunkin' Donuts, you want to go? You're not tricking me this time. Last time, Dad, you, th you told me we were getting ice cream. We ended up at the cemetery. Well, you never want to go with me. I, I don't care, you know. They're, they're hanging on to it, possibly drinking excessively as well, not really taking care of themselves the way that they should. Excessively. I, I That could be you, High Season Cross Watcher, if you're the third person. I don't think it's a good idea. Some of y'all have addictive personalities. Please don't do that. I would be scared for you. I, I, I wouldn't want anybody going through the same shit my sister-in-law and her husband did. Because, like, you know, once you start getting into something, the comfortable thing. <laughs> the comfortable thing I just talked Once you start getting comfortable with, like, doing bad shit to yourself, you really don't want to stop. Why should you? And you're, you're happy with it, right? Maybe not everyone else is happy around you, but you're happy. The problem is, like, you know, getting comfortable and being bad skin, you know, like, you might drive someone off who they really don't want to drive off, then despite what you offer them, you know, like, you're still going to feel like they were set up because you pulled some fucking tricks and got caught in one of your, like, a love situation going. You don't know how to fucking explain yourself and the self-sabotage. Now this motherfucker's like, well, fuck you. I'm just going to take care of my goddamn self because I'm the queen of fucking pentacles, motherfucker. Um, looking back at her, like, you know, oh, I'm going to get away with this shit. Surprise, motherfucker. Someone told me. 
This is the female. This is the woman. Who's getting talked about. Please. Don't fight anybody. Because whoever she is, she, she will fight. It ain't gonna take much. It's just be like... You know, like, she's gonna go like... I, I hate it because I can be so expressive by myself when I'm around people. It's just like, oh no, no, I can't do that. I need to learn how not to. But it's so comfortable. <laughs> <coughs> They're not comfortable. They're uncomfortable with the fact you're comfortable. Pisces and crosswalkers. That's their problem. And this motherfucker is going to say. And it's on the Emperor. This person's a fucking douchebag. This person's an asshole. Whoever this Emperor is... They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. <coughs> they know exactly what they're doing. And the worst part about it is, is that they're doing it just to be cruel. That's fucked, man. Alright, how this shit starts, how it'll end. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. Queen of, Cups, Queen of Wands is a Shadow Side Reverse. Um, this person could have been a dream, but it's like, no, I'm not doing this shit anymore because it's too much of a burden. I'm ending this shit. Um, Kind of hard to king of wands, much gentle, right? <laughs> Both of her still expects this bitch to talk to them. <laughs> like, she already came up angry. She showed up with the fucking cat. They're still expecting whoever this queen of wands is to talk to them. When it's obvious, they're literally ignoring the... Look at that. No, nobody looks that straight. Nobody looks that straight while somebody's staring right at him. Like, the humans naturally look for faces, so, and, and, and we're naturally paranoid. So when we notice people staring, we pick that shit up and be like, who the fuck is staring at me? What the fuck? This motherfucker is intentionally ignoring this motherfucker. They don't want nothing. This person doesn't want anything to do with this with this third party, Pisces and Crosswatchers. But he's just dead staring at you. I don't hear a fucking thing. He's like, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't blame them, because if this person literally broke up a relationship just to talk to this bitch, she's not going to talk to you. You know, who wants to talk to somebody who betrays them like that? Which is weird. Pisces and Crosswatchers, are you friends with this woman? Because why would you want to have a conversation with her... After you caused. Ooh. Whoever this third party is was with the dude. But they want to talk to the woman. This is someone you know. They're either fucking your person and you are very close to this person or you're fucking somebody who's a um, significant other you're very close to. It's one of the two. Either you're doing it or they're doing it. But whoever this person's doing this shit to, they're doing it to somebody who they're extremely close to behind their back. That's fucked, dude. Yeah, this person's trying to... Like, no, 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 just go, go fuck, go fish, bitch. Don't you, <laughs> don't you come talk to me. Um, no, go uh, talk to me. They're not even going to try. But they're pouring out their cup before they even get a chance to come up and, like, say something to put, like, this third party sword down. Like, they don't even care. Like, they are, you know what, I could say whatever I want to make you feel bad for all the shit you've done, but I think I'd rather say nothing at all. I feel like they also have regrets for trying to reach them, too, you know, like, uh, this is something that someone's gonna have to pay for later, for sure it's gonna cost them a lot, because it totally fucked up their day, 
totally fucked up though. They got caught. Feel like choking out a goddamn lion because fuck you, that's why. But their intuition isn't working very right. Pisces, this could have been your intuition not operating correctly. What the fuck is this? And why is he here? Why, why is he here? Why is he here? I, you know, what? Third party is the magician. Mm. Does this magician know that they were? Does this magician know they were third party? Because now I'm really curious. Because this, like, this is very much like my Scorpio season reading Pisces. Apparently, you buy it. Well, yeah, because of Pluto and then Saturn and then like Jupiter, Mercury, and all that, and then Neptune, Neptune, going conjunct with motherfuckers. Anyway, um. You guys are apparently got the story about what's going on for Scorpio season. Yeah, where someone really isn't as helpful as what they're pretending to be. Is this is a magician over there? Is it a dark magician? Yep. And they're producing shit. Will they be successful in their endeavors? So, let's just put this out here. Yes. Man, she got some big old titties. Mmm. Thought I did. Um, it will be successful. Given this mistress, a little bit of Empress energy, right? Um. However, the truth actually isn't flying out, and this person's going to make a bunch of excuses as to why. Damn. Alright, advice cards. Pisces and cross watchers. Like, okay, so water signs, all of your readings have been long. My bad. Sorry. But yeah. This person has to be emptied. And I feel like once they're emptied, they're going to be removed. And if this is you, and not doing this for the right reasons, um, you are going to be removed. <laughs> God damn, like, everybody gets shit today. You need to rest, you need to take a break, go sleep, because this person is not helping you sleep at all. This person isn't helping you at all, for shit. Um, don't, get, like, engaging in arguments, riding the fight. Doors closed though. Especially on a wish fulfillment. So stuck in your head because now that offer literally is not there anymore. Yeah. Okay. Places and crosswalkers. Like whoever this third party is is coming in just to start shit. Regardless of their intentions, whether they're trying to clear their conscience, whether they're trying to just fuck up your relationship or some shit like that, whether they just want to be a dick. Doesn't matter. This person, uh. And if this. Apparently, if y'all got the black magician in your life, this motherfucker is not gonna be able to produce anything worth of value and they're gonna be stuck in their head for the remainder of the next cycle they're in. Because as soon as they pull this shit, they're out. They're out. They're out. They're no longer even going to be in that. Like, that's, I, this is actually really good. Like, you might lose a person. You know? But fuck it. It gets rid of this motherfucker for you, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Like, once they do this one thing, they're out. They're gone. They're done. They, they will never be able to fuck with you and yours again. Um, because I feel like this person... Like, if this is the black magician, I feel like uh, they never gone after a person with, and that's what fucked it up. Because it's just like, oh, that was the last chance you had to, like, use the black magic to fuck with me. Now I don't have anything that you can actually fuck with, because now you already fucked with the person I was with, so thanks. Now I have an immunity to you doing that to me ever again. Like, that, like, that, like they may fuck up, like, your good time for now, but they literally did you a favor. 
like thank this person for ruining a potentially good situation, which I don't think was a good situation to begin with. I mean, I well, it probably was. Then at the same time with this third party, it probably didn't make it easy or anything like that. Or even comfortable, but still. Uh, damn, dude. Just damn. Like, if, the, if this person's successful and fucks up your good time, like, oh my god. Like, what's gonna happen to those who get screwed over by, like, this particular person? Definitely get your strength to hold your own. Uh, a little bit of confusion, for sure. Because you're not sure about your own judgment skills and everything seems like it's halted around you. But you're going to make a fucking journey, right? That's going to lead you to a lot more understanding and a lot more, like, a wealth. You're going to have a good time. You're going to find love. And you won't have to look at any more options because you're going to be your own fucking boss, hun. And not from an L MLM ski either. You're actually going to go somewhere. So yeah, um, this person might ruin your good time. They might fuck up your future for a little bit. But it's like, I don't know. No, that's not a number. That's not a number. That is not a number. I mean, you have numbers. You have more numbers than anything else. Four. I'd say four months after this shit happens, you'll be fine. So, bye, Susan Crossbarters. That was your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. If not, don't worry about it, because, like, I'm not going to crash. But, I love your guys' faces. I will see you next time. I hope you take care of yourselves. bye bye And, um, don't fret about this. If you're worried about it, just be happy and live your life.